high-tech industry is one of the main drivers of our economy. Innovative solutions are needed for societal challenges in the areas of sustainable production, energy, food consumption, mobility and the ageing population. The demand for advanced devices that are smaller with more functionality is therefore increasing at a high rate. These developments rely on highly sensitive miniaturised sensors and devices and the methods and machines to design, analyse and manufacture them. The Multidisciplinary Department of Precision and Microsystems Engineering, TU Delft, aims to advance the understanding of the working principles and processes for the manufacturing, optimization, and design of machines and micro-devices with high speed and precision to impact biohealth, agro-food, and high-tech society. Our research takes place at three levels. First, we develop our own materials. Um, we grow aero-free single crystal graphene membranes, and we produce very thin diamond layers as coatings on electrodes for water purification and energy storage systems. Secondly, we build a variety of devices like sensors, tiny manipulators, microstructures for tissue engineering, or resonators for wireless networks and wearable devices. Thirdly, we develop complete systems with all these functionalities integrated in them, and the manufacturing processes, the equipment, and the numerical optimization techniques to design and build them. By making our devices smaller, they need less material and less energy, but also they perform better. Therefore, miniaturization is essential for affordable and sustainable high-tech systems of the future. Here we develop novel micro and nanoscale sensor technologies. One example is this graphene pressure sensor chip, which contains 10,000 graphene membranes. Graphene is a material that's only one atom thick, and that's 300 times thinner than a hair. As a consequence, these membranes are very flexible and much more sensitive than existing sensor technologies. We use these sensors to make sensor modules which we mount, for example, in agriculture. On every plant, we mount such a sensor module. They communicate that information wirelessly to the farmer who can then use that information for better crop yields. Nowadays, there is a huge interest in creating structures able to mimic organs in our body, such as our brain. In our department, we employ laser-assisted fabrication technology to create these structures. Then, we take neuronal cells and culture them within these architectures to understand if they behave in a way similar to the one that we expect in our human brain. This kind of engineered microenvironments will be extremely useful in future to better understand diseases such as Alzheimer's or brain cancer, but also for in vitro drug screening applications, ideally lowering the amount of required animal experimentation. One common development in our department relates to metamaterials which gain their properties from their spatial structure, rather than from their chemical composition. Ultimately, we are transforming mechanical engineering from assembling machines from specific parts with each their own specific function, towards machines that are created, printed, with all the functionality in one organic part, out of new metamaterials designed with advanced computer-aided synthesis methods. Check out our website, pme.tudelft.nl.